Hold on to something because we've got 20 crazy Tesla stories lined up and we're kicking things off with a 28 car pileup. Alan was driving his Tesla early one morning during a downpour. The sun was also rising and the reflection off the wet asphalt was extremely glaring. Suddenly, Alan noticed the vehicle ahead of him slowing down, so he also hit the brakes. Sadly, the driver behind him didn't see what was happening and rear-ended Alan's Tesla at full speed. It didn't stop there. The road glare was so bad, drivers continued rear-ending each other, eventually culminating in a 28-car pileup that got national news coverage. Incredibly, a police car was driving right behind the Buick that hit Alan's Tesla, and this helped prevent any other cars from crashing into them. Sadly, it didn't do much to prevent mayhem further behind them. Once Alan got home and saw the incident being covered on the news, he realized he'd been near the very front of the pileup. During the news report, he was able to spot his own car on the screen. There it is, right there. The interstate highway was shut down for three hours while response personnel cleared away the remains of 28 wrecked vehicles. Miraculously, nobody was injured. That's gotta be some kind of record. Allen's repair bill reached 41,000 US dollars, but when he filed a claim with the Buick driver's insurance provider, they said the $25,000 policy wouldn't cover it. Not to mention the damage done to the two cars ahead of him, Allen's own insurance provider had to step in and they totaled his Tesla. Duff was just about to merge onto a highway when he noticed a cloud of sparks and heard a loud engine roaring past him. Duff told us the Camaro either had a tire rupture or the driver was going too fast and lost control after overcorrecting. Either way, the car smashed into a concrete wall. And although the driver wasn't hurt, he was definitely upset. Duff and another driver stopped to verify that only the Camaro driver's ego had been injured. He called the police and a friend to come give him a ride. Lewis was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Shoreline, Washington. When traffic came to an abrupt stop and a vehicle ahead swerved, Lewis barely managed to stop in time. A Mercedes van pulling a loaded trailer plowed into the back of Lewis's Tesla at full speed, pushing it into an Audi in front of him and pushing the Audi into another vehicle ahead of it. In total, four cars were involved in the collision. The drivers all pulled over to the shoulder and Lewis called the police, who were quick to respond to the scene. Lewis invited an officer into his Tesla and showed him his Tesla cam video on the screen, enabling him to immediately cite the Mercedes driver after finding him completely responsible. Thankfully, nobody was injured. The van driver was a Canadian driving a company vehicle and they're currently ghosting Lewis, so he had to hire a lawyer and is still working through the insurance process. Lewis wanted to shout out his brothers Josef and Andrew, who are huge fans of the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Omar was driving behind several other vehicles on the way to an art show with his cousins. Suddenly, the driver in front of him was distracted and almost didn't notice the car in front of them slowing down. To avoid a collision, the driver swerved to the left, but they hit a car making a left turn instead. Omar stopped and made sure the drivers were okay. The collision actually happened right in front of the police station, which is also a barn, so their response was very quick. Okay, when Omar told us the police station was also a barn, we didn't believe him at first. But check out what we found when we pulled up a satellite view of the location. It is indeed a barn. Tyler was driving down a California highway with autopilot engaged when he heard the obnoxious roar of a V8 engine revving up behind him. The driver of an old Mustang passed Tyler before cutting him off, only to get stuck behind the pickup truck that Tyler had already been following. Tyler flashed his high beams at the Mustang driver to show him what he thought about his unnecessarily dangerous move. When the HOV lane opened up, Tyler legally merged into it. The Mustang driver, who was clearly alone, wasn't legally allowed in the HOV lane. Tyler told us the HOV lane usually moves quicker during times of heavy traffic, so he was soon able to pass the Mustang. But the driver wasn't about to give up his lead so easily. A sort of mini drag race occurred, which we're guessing involved more hand gestures than racing. Tyler confesses that what he did next was very unnecessary and he should have just let it go, but he didn't. When the HOV lane opened up again, he zipped past the Mustang before cutting in front of it. 
The Mustang driver, full of confidence, engaged his boosters or activated his cylinders or whatever you do to make an old Mustang get up and move. The Mustang went flying by Tyler before cutting him off again, retaking the lead position. It was around this time that Tyler decided things were getting out of hand and backed off. After a few minutes, traffic started building up so he got back in the HOV lane when he saw an opening. Without meaning to, he was about to pass the Mustang driver again, but he decided to cut across a triple solid line and block his overtake. If only Tyler's Tesla had been sporting a set of our new Wham Bam decals. The Mustang driver would have known his driving would end up on Wham Bam Tesla Cam. After Tyler orders a set, he can easily install them himself in minutes and his Tesla will look even better than before. He'll also get both a Tesla cam and a dash cam sticker to go along with the decals. And they're all made from 3M automotive vinyl that will hold up to just about anything. To get a set for your ride, head over to our friends at Test Bros using the link in the description. For now, let's get back to the show. Hamilton was driving in Fairfax, Virginia when the Virginia State Trooper in front of him lit up his emergency lights and pulled over a white Prius. The Prius was actually being driven by a security guard. Any idea why he got stopped by the cops? You got it, he'd made an illegal U-turn as this sign makes pretty clear. Luke was driving home after getting a haircut in Sterling Heights, Michigan. He was following behind another Model 3 that nearly got a cut of its own. A Jeep nearly sideswiped it, but either the Tesla or the driver made an amazing evasive maneuver. Luke doesn't know if the driver pulled that off or if it was autopilot. What do you think? Comment your vote below and we'll send a pack of Wham Bam decals to a randomly chosen winner. Dan was turning right through a green light while a motorcyclist was waiting at a stop sign to make a Michigan U-turn. Suddenly, the biker rolled through the stop sign into oncoming traffic and Dan had to act quickly to avoid a collision. If you're like us and you've never heard of a Michigan U-turn, it's when drivers turn right onto a highway, then quickly merge across to the left before making a U-turn across oncoming lanes. All instead of turning left to begin with, which is not allowed. Dan did this and the biker went around him. When they both stopped at the red light, the biker began screaming at Dan and calling him some non-family friendly names. Dan ignored him, but when the light turned green and the biker sped away, he made sure Dan knew he was number one. It turned out they were both planning to make a Michigan U-turn, and as they ended up next to each other, Dan couldn't ignore him any longer. As the biker continued calling Dan names, Dan pointed out that the biker had actually rolled the stop sign, putting him in the wrong. And he offered to let him watch himself on Dan's Tesla cam footage, an offer he impolitely declined. That's when Dan pointed out that the biker must not be that concerned with his safety, considering he rides without a helmet and runs stop signs. The motorcyclist called Dan a name one last time for good measure before speeding off. Alan was driving his two-week-old Model S in Ontario when he experienced a scary road rage situation with a BMW driver. Alan sent us almost an hour of footage. We scrubbed through it all to confirm there was no prior interaction with this BMW driver, so what we're about to show you was a complete surprise to Alan. A reckless BMW driver cut across three lanes to cut in front of Alan and make a right turn in front of him. He then slowed down, evidently waiting for Alan to turn, but Alan could sense something was up and decided to pass him rather than taking any chances. The BMW driver tried to overtake him on the left, but when they approached a semi-truck, he was forced to back off before driving around Alan. It was at this point that Alan realized the BMW driver was following him. Even though the BMW was ahead of him, he could hear the driver yelling at him through his open window. The BMW driver then matched Alan's speed, still screaming at him. Alan couldn't understand what he was saying, but he told us he didn't look very happy. Alan hit the juice pedal to create some separation, but the BMW driver also accelerated before passing him again. The BMW driver kept yelling, now with his arm out the window and his hand pointing at something before speeding off. Alan figured out the guy had been pointing at the red light, and it seemed like he wanted to have a friendly chat with Alan. He actually got out of his car and started approaching Alan's Tesla. 
Alan panicked, and when he saw an opening, he nearly sideswiped a car in his blind spot as he tried to escape the unprovoked confrontation. Alan called the police, and they advised him to take a circuitous route home just in case he was still being followed. They remained on the phone with him for five minutes as he made his way home, but thankfully, the BMW driver was never seen again. Adam was driving on a beautiful sunny day in Roseville, California, when he noticed a man jump out of a pickup truck while it was stopped at a red light. Without knowing what was going on, Adam predicted the guy was going to scream at the driver of the nearby car. Sure enough, he did, and he also punched the door. I don't know if anybody won this one. Human versus vehicle seems like a bad matchup. Alberto was driving home after supercharging his Tesla when the driver of a black Nissan switched lanes and collided with a semi-truck, causing a chain reaction. Our theory is that the trucker must have not seen the black Nissan in their blind spot. Alberto was going to just keep going, but then he decided to return to the collision scene. When he got back, the highway patrol had already responded and he gave them a copy of his Tesla cam footage. Adrian was driving through downtown Sacramento with heavy and unpredictable traffic. Suddenly, his Tesla was sideswiped by a Jeep. Adrian started to pull over when the Jeep driver sped off. He called 911, but he was told that they wouldn't follow up on the hit and run since there weren't any injuries. Adrian made a police report anyway for his insurance claim. He'll be taking his Tesla in for a repair estimate later this week, but sadly, he'll end up paying a $500 US dollar deductible since he has to use his own insurance policy. It really feels like the cops should do something, especially considering the clear video evidence with a perfect shot of the offender's license plate number. I suppose it's up to the insurance company now. Jay was driving down a highway in Everett, Washington when traffic started backing up for construction up ahead. The driver of the pickup wasn't going to be able to stop in time to avoid a collision, so they swerved through some cones into a closed lane. The driver behind him wasn't doing any better and they locked up their brakes while taking out multiple cones. Thankfully, there were no collisions. Now that was a close call. Damo was driving down a highway in Auckland, New Zealand, right behind a garbage truck in the other lane when trash began falling out of the truck. After a metal pipe fell out, a white triangular object struck and cracked Damo's windshield. Damo sped up and got in front of the truck before activating his hazard lights to get the driver's attention. They didn't pull over, so he started waving at them, but they still didn't get the message. The truck continued dropping more objects on the highway. Damo called the police, and by the time they'd reached the garbage truck's destination, the police had finished taking the report and told Damo he didn't need to continue following the truck. Staff members were waiting to speak with Damo as he arrived, and he never got to see or speak to the truck driver as he pulled in. The supervisor took a record of the damage and gave Damo information to provide to his insurance provider. Here's another clip from New Zealand. Sean was driving his Model Y when he watched someone go speeding through a school zone right in front of the police. Sean told us it was nice to see instant justice being served that beautiful morning. For some internet cool points, comment below and tell us what kind of car the cop is driving. This Model S owner was driving in the passing lane with autopilot engaged when a blue Toyota suddenly overtook him on the right before brake checking him. The Toyota driver then attacked our submitter with his washer fluid. Our submitter told us that while he appreciated the free washer fluid, he's mostly just happy they didn't collide. We're guessing the other driver was upset that our submitter was driving in the passing lane, but he told us he had been passing other traffic. Still, do you think these actions were justified? Tell us what you think in the comments. Rupert was on his way home from the service center after getting the damage from a previous collision repaired. You'll never guess what happened. As Rupert was patiently waiting for an opportunity to turn, a Jeep driver got tired of waiting and drove into him. The Jeep driver stopped and immediately admitted the collision was his fault before Rupert turned around to head back to the service center. This anonymous submitter parked her Model 3 next to her friend's car at the Rancho San Antonio Open Space Preserve. While they were hiking, sentry mode was activated by a car that pulled up behind their cars. The guy was clearly staking out the area, but evidently he left after being spooked by something. 
Ten minutes later, the same car returned, and a man jumped out and walked up to her friend's car. With some kind of tool, he managed to easily unlock her car. Thankfully, her friend hadn't left anything valuable behind, so the guy left empty-handed before moving on to other cars in the parking lot. Our submitter contacted the park rangers and the sheriff's department, sending them both copies of her sentry mode video. Her friend had to pay 800 US dollars to have her door lock repaired. Wait a second, is the burglar wearing a Rolex? Justin goes through this intersection every day on his way to work, and he started to notice something very interesting. A stunning number of people consider the red light as more what you'd call a guideline than an actual rule. Like this one, and this one, and this one. There are two lanes leading up to this traffic light. The right lane is for right turns only, and the left lane goes straight across the intersection. Traffic tends to stack up in the left lane, and every day, drivers cut across from the right lane, treating the red light like a stop sign. Hopefully there's some go-getter traffic cop in Tracy, California who sees this video and decides to camp this intersection for a while. I bet they'd fill their quota pretty quick. Mirt was headed to see the Cybertruck on display in the Langley Tesla showroom. It was very rainy and slushy when he noticed drivers ahead slowing down for some reason. Mirt slowed down before noticing a Pontiac Vibe spin and slam into the median barrier. Mirt thinks the Pontiac driver put one tire in the snow to avoid a truck next to her before losing control. He told us he could tell the driver wasn't hurt, and with two kids in the car with him, he decided not to stop. Mirt told us his son William is a huge fan of Tesla's and our channel. Check out his reaction to seeing a Cybertruck for the first time. <laughs> William and his friend even got to touch the truck before William asked his father, is this real? Imagine seeing a Cybertruck and experiencing a wham bam moment all in the same day. Wham bam, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show.